Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at CES 2014 here with Min, the head gamer, CEO of Razer. You guys always have something really interesting every year, concept projects, new things. This year, you're back to going, going back to your roots with PC gaming. Tell me about this. I hear it's called Project Christine. Who's Christine? Well, it's uh, one of our project names. It's a top secret project for us, and uh, this is Project Christine. Like two years ago, we had Project Fiona. Uh, that turned out to be the Razer Edge gaming tablet. This is Project Christine, which we hope that we will bring to uh, fruition one day. Are these ex-girlfriends or ch kids' names, or what are they? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disclosing anything. <laughs> All right, so nice try. It's, it's a gaming PC, but you have your own Razer twist. So what, what innovation are you bringing here? It's modular. Sure. So in a single line, this is pretty much the most modular PC. Um, it's a concept design at this point of time for us, but it's fully modular. So in essence, you can you know, have a single GPU, you can have a trial SLI, you can change the CPU at any point of time. You can kind of see it that you know, each and every one of these are individual modules, and it's pretty much super easy to upgrade. So for example, you've got a new GPU, you pop it out, boom, you just bring another one of these modules back in, you just jack it in, and you're up and running. So a CPU would fit in something like this, and it's a, look at the back, it's PCI Express, it's a proprietary connector, Absolutely. and you're working with GPU partners, so they provide you the boards. Are you making the boards yourself? How is this going to be manufactured? So what's happening at this point of time, we've got prototypes in our labs that uh, work. We've actually broken these down into individual discrete components. So this is, um, to kind of take you through it, the thermal tower, what we call the thermal tower. Um, there's actually a, a mineral oil cooled um, uh, component here that pumps the mineral oil through the entire system. So what we've got um, here is a concept design right now. We hope to be able to bring out a reference design to as many people as possible and um, pretty much uh, uh, propagate PC gaming to uh, everyone. And you said there's mineral cooling, so water cooling basically built into each of these modules. And on the bottom, this acts as a power supply and the reservoir? It's a reservoir. So if you look at here, these are um, you know double uh, level um, kind of uh, screw, uh, uh, ports, so to speak. They go in, it, it doesn't spill. So you don't have the traditional problems with um, mineral oil cooling, it's, it's messy, it's difficult. But on top of that, because every single one of these components are individually uh, uh, self-contained, the kind of potential for doing things like overclocking from a factory level, it's insane. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with this and uh, we're you know, super, super excited about Project Christine. What other type of modules do you envision? I know obviously you have storage, you're going to have GPUs, CPU motherboard in one, and what other type of accessories can you put in here? Well, this is one of the things that we thought was pretty cool. We actually had a really basic kind of power button and stuff like that, and somebody said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a status, sim uh, status window that you could kind of see what the uh, status of the, the units are, you can kind of see, and even, for example, choose your operating system at, at launch. So we've kind of really looked at keeping this absolutely open. So any possible level of uh, configuration, any possible level of uh, the customization, boom, there you have it. And I assume you'll be keeping up as new technologies emerge, how much of a delay, is, like, for example, if a new SSC controller comes out, how long would it take for you to work with the, the parts to actually produce a module that consumers will buy? Do you foresee that being a long time? Well, you know, it's up in the air right now. You know, we're still looking at it, but um, Razer is kind of different from most of the companies in the sense that we have all of the design in-house. You know, we don't outsource it to like a factory in, in, in Taiwan or China and stuff like that. We do all the design in-house and it allows us to do all kinds of kind of pretty badass stuff. So in terms of speed, we're also really fast. In terms of uh, uh, designing great um, platforms and all of this being done in-house allows us a huge amount of flexibility. And you can imagine the, the toughest, toughest part was getting you know, a module design, an interface design, and this is scalable, so you know, potentially a tower with more module ports or different type of sizes. Well, and what we really want to do is we, we want to kind of start with a, with a reference first and see where it takes us. Um, right now, if somebody wants a Blu-ray player you know, or reader writer, he can have it. If he doesn't want to have it, he you know, replaces it with uh, additional storage and stuff like that. So uh, it's pretty much up in the air. It's concept design. Got it. It took Fiona two years to become a real product. Is uh, that going to, uh, yeah. yeah, a year, a little over a year, so maybe a year? Is it, I mean, are you waiting for feedback? What's going to make this a real product? So we're waiting for feedback with, you know, we, we have lots of ideas at Razer. We want to throw it out there to the community and ask them, like, you know, what do you think of this, right? Um, Fiona won the best of CES, and we, we were like, whoa, people really want this. And we went on, we built it, we made it into the Razer Edge with, that was a critical and commercial success. This, Project Christine, we're doing it the same way, throwing it out there to the gamers and saying, guys, what do you think? You know, is this cool, is it not cool? Tell us what you think about it. And um, you know, if we get enough positive feedback, we'll make it. 
Awesome, I love that you guys always take risks and actually spend the money in the research and actually make something tangible. It's okay. not just a blueprint. Actually, you know, to be candid, I build stuff that <laughs> I like myself. You know, I'm a gamer. I, I uh, you know, I, I wanted a, a super hardcore, you know, super portable, super thin blade. And we did that three years ago. Look at what the entire market has been. With tons of copycats out there, with th tons of these super thin, super powerful laptops out there today. Because we took a leap of faith back a couple of years ago. Christine, what we hope to do is that if this comes to fruition, we will see an entire group of um, you know, other ODMs and brands saying, hey, that's a good idea. Let's do more for PC gaming. Let's get the word of PC gaming out there and um, more people. What are your thoughts on uh, your Curveball, Steambox and, and Valve's initiative? You guys interested in that too? Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of what Steam is doing. I'm super excited about Steam machines. Um, and in essence, what we want to do, tell people is that this is as open as possible. You want SteamOS on this? The you know, user can install SteamOS. The guy likes um, Windows XP. Go ahead, you know, knock yourself out. In essence, we want as open a platform as possible because that's what PC gamers like. Awesome. Thank you so much, Finn, for sharing your vision here at CES 2014. We'll have more from Razer, from other manufacturers here at CES. I'm Norm from Tested. We'll see you guys online. Bye.